my sort of perception of Thomas is just as a creative person, and that's the thing where people go wrong, like, well, is he a photographer, or is he a painter, or is he a surfer, or a skater, or is it, you know, you're like, yes. <laughs> you know, I mean, he's, yeah, he's everything. He's, that's who he is. This week's episode is on Thomas Campbell, who I've gotten to know pretty well over the last few years by working on a handful of projects with him. And he has such a deep and rich history within both the skating world and the surfing world that we sort of broke the mold a little bit with this one and go take a look back to his younger days in the 80s and early 90s and sort of what shaped him and influenced him to become the artist that he is. I came from skateboarding, so I wasn't really getting back to surfing. I, I surfed since I was about 10, but I was always skating and skateboarding was like my main thing. It's kind of a pretty emotional thing to work on, especially the more and in, more intense that it gets, like what people are doing now. It's so athletically impossible and difficult to do the tricks that they're doing that like they just get destroyed and they get upset and it's like I might be too emotionally open to like deal with it. I dealt with it for so many years but you go and then these dudes are like fucking freaking out like like Vietnam vet like breakdown just like ah fuck you know it's like freaking out and you're just like oh, man it takes its toll on you. I was involved in it in uh, probably in the early 80s. I really became more engaged in a, a different movement of it. At that time, people weren't doing things like for commercial or monetary reasons. Like there was no possibility of selling anything or doing anything that like made money or it just wasn't a thought. So it was really something kind of smaller and people were like, yeah, I want to draw pictures or I want to make a fanzine or like just to communicate and and at the time it was really like crazy culture because you had like Thrasher magazine and it had like every different kind of music all kinds of different stuff and was, that was there and then had like Robert Williams and Basquiat and Pusshead and all these different artists in it and then you had like some of the professionals like Chris Miller and Lance Mountain and Neil Blender and Todd Swank and Mark Gonzalez all doing art and it was all pretty like just you could tell it was from the hip they were just trying to do it and they did it you know like it wasn't like they went to some school or it's really like oh well check out that like I could do that I'll just I'll just try to do that and then when you have Neil Blender, GSD, Chris Miller, Mark all these guys doing you know just like what these guys are crazy you know that and, and swank all those guys and everybody making zines and that it was just such a fertile environment you know it was it was insane and it was just to do it diy style like i want to do they want to do whatever they want to do like i remember early trans world magazines it was like it was the skaters shooting photos of the other skaters it was like those guys like lance and neil blender those guys had photo credits it was like the mags just gave them cameras and said, document your guys' trips and we'll put it in the magazine. Thomas comes from that school, you know, like same thing. It's like if he wants to do something, he goes for it and does it. That's kind of what happened is like when I was that age, I just started drawing and I was really shitty at drawing and I just kept doing it and kept doing it. It's kind of like skateboarding, you know, like it's like one of those things that you just have to keep trying at and like slamming is normal. So like it's hard to make things. It's hard to make tricks. You're like, oh, bam. You're like, ah, oh, fuck. I got to, okay, I got to try again. Oh, bam. You know, like, you're, you're used to it. You're like, I, I just have to, like, keep on beating myself up to do things. So, like, I think that carries off in the, the creative world. You're just like, I just got to keep trying, and then I'll make it sometime. 